Lord, Flat Earthers, I have a new lens. Yes, I took it up uh, a few weeks ago and boy, it performed really well. High resolution. Um, I can zoom similar to a cam camcorder. Incredible optics. This is Los Angeles on the way back. Uh, I'll show you a few photos. And then I have a few surprise clips and analysis. You'll really love it. I also found out I can see through those um, polarized window shades on the bigger aircraft. I was afraid infrared may not work through those, but it worked just great. The infrared spectrum is quite extensive and there's some folks may be confused, we're not using thermal infrared here, which is really um, mid-wave IR and long-wave IR. We're using, um, we're operating in the near-infrared region, and uh, next to it there's the short-wave infrared region. Now, in these two regions, infrared light uh, behaves differently. Uh, it reflects off of objects, uh, but in the mid-wave and long-wave uh, we're actually imaging the thermal uh, heat of the objects. This new lens is showing the horizon extremely flat, kind of toppling some of my previous theories, but nonetheless very fascinating. This lens has a wide field of view, which is what I wanted, plus I can also zoom in. And right here we're zoomed out and it's really beautiful. That's uh, the Colorado coming from Hoover Dam and Lake Mead in the distance. We'll see the beautiful white sands of New Mexico. I flew from Los Angeles to Houston and um, on this map uh, we see the aircraft, um, it's flying at about 39,000 feet and we'll be looking north to see a white sands. Now have a look at this, it's beautiful. White Sands Missile Range is quite a unique place. After the war, V-2 rockets captured from the Nazis were brought out here for testing. And it was from here that we got our first glimpses of the flat earth. Notice the images have about 30 degrees field of view and they're assembled in such a way to reinforce the idea that we're on a globe and it's, it's curved, but actually each image shows a flat horizon. And as we'll see later, uh, modern satellites do the same thing except they take narrower strips so it's imperceptible to the eye. But the horizon is actually flat. Not too far from the white sands, is Roswell, New Mexico, basically on the right side of the image. Uh, I've been out there uh, once years ago. I passed through and I had to stop and visit that famous um, alien museum or whatever it's called. Uh, lots of desert out here, folks. Here I'm zoomed in optically on the image and now I'm zooming in digitally. Um, if we look in the distance, we see clouds formed around mountains, and we kind of see two layers. We're actually looking way in the distance at the Colorado Rockies. You'll see them clearly in the next clip. It is simply incredible.
with pastel paso and the white sands which are barely visible on the left side of the image and now I'm starting to digitally zoom in um, on the mountains in the distance which will become uh, clear shortly also notice the storm clouds to the right right under the wing here I've assembled a picture and I've zoomed in to show the storms on the right side, the Rocky Mountains, and uh, I put an inset of uh, where the airplane is and the storms from the uh, map I obtained from uh, flight radar. After a few minutes, uh, 15 to 20, I'll be showing some clips taken looking back and I've circled there in yellow a cloud formation. Um, so we'll be seeing that from a different angle. The airplane is flying at about 630 miles per hour, so we're putting quite a distance. You can see that cloud formation uh, kind of uh, center. I think that's the same cloud formation. Uh, not zoomed in all the way here, I don't think. Here's a photo I took. I have uh, a few of them, but I processed this one play with the contrast um, and we can barely see the white line um, and I think those are the Rocky Mountains uh, obviously a lot of clouds and they usually form around the mountain peaks as we saw in, in the previous uh, photos and we can see the heavy storms kind of on the right side there um, now, let's have a look at some analysis, see where we're at, what we're seeing, how far this geometry is. Based on the elapsed time, the airplane is as shown there. Um, it was flying at about 629 miles per hour. And uh, that's about, you know, 10 point something miles per minute. And after 20 minutes, you know, 200 miles or so. Um, I drew where the horizon should be for um, the uh, radius of 3959, which is the accepted radius of the Earth. And for the four thirds R approximation due to refraction. Um, so we shouldn't be able to see anything beyond those circles if we live on a globe. Uh, but as you saw, we see quite far away and we see the storms as we noted on the previous uh, slides. Those storms are way over there in the distance by Colorado and the mountain. Just incredible, folks. Now I've tabulated uh, how much uh, is hidden by the Earth. Um, and I was conservative. I started from the larger circle due to uh, the four thirds R assumption. And as you can see, at 400 miles, uh, the curvature drops 7,200 feet below line of sight tangent to the Earth. At 500 is 24,000. Those mountains around there, they're only about 10,000 feet, shouldn't be visible. Then at 600 mile distance, it's 51,300 feet below the line of sight. Um, and at 700, it is 88,455 feet. Just incredible stuff, folks. Unbelievable. The Earth is not a globe, folks. It looks like a globe, but it's not a globe. Now, let's have a look at uh, the Great Lakes. I had a, a chance to film uh, 
Lake Huron on another business trip this spring and the weather cooperated. Here's the flight map. I'm flying at about 29,000 feet and I'll be looking towards the north. That's Lake Huron and then we'll see Georgian Bay as well. Incredible imagery. Have a look. This is shocking folks. This is Lake Huron. I was flying over Lake Erie. Unbelievable folks. Look at that. You can see it in entirety. Have a look at this. See this is Lake Erie in the foreground and in the background that's uh, Lake Huron. And I'm going to zoom in on the right side there so we can uh, have a clearer view of what lies beyond. Unbelievable folks. Have a look at this. Wow. Do you see that folks? Just shocking, just shocking, that's all I could say. Here's a few video clips. It's so beautiful to look at these clouds. Look at that boy, just cotton white. Just makes you want to eat that stuff, like cotton candy. <laughs> oh man, just the sights of, you know, flying through the clouds are that ground, all the patterns from vegetation, just incredible. Now I'm approaching Atlanta, look at the vegetation that comes out white in infrared, just incredible. Thanks for watching everyone, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, make sure to comment down below and give me some feedback and um, hopefully I'll put out another video shortly, uh, I have a lot of material, but not enough time, I'm always busy, so anyway stay tuned for more.